tends to adhere to its original shape. In its natural state, steel is not at all flat. A hot rolled coil generally has some coil set, center buckle, crossbow, or wavy edges. Stress is induced into steel when it is coiled. Steel remembers its original shape and wants to return to it. These conditions must be removed so the sheet will remain flat during manufacturing operations such as laser, plasma, and punch cutting. A leveled sheet may appear flat, but the action of the leveler alone is not sufficient to overcome residual stresses. Temper passing in conjunction with roller leveler, cut to length line, can improve these conditions. Temper passing consists of compressing steel between two very large work rolls under very high pressure to flatten and elongate the steel. Temper passing is a cold reducing process that decreases the thickness of the steel between 1.5 and 2%. The setup of the mill is part science and part art. The process is not automatic and interpretation of the individual coil is required. It takes considerable amount of technique to read the misshape and interpret the changes which must be made to attack the misshape. From their experience, John Deere, Caterpillar, Case New Holland, and Defiance Metal Products have identified several advantages of temper pass cut to length material. Eliminates coil memory, improves surface finish, improves accuracy of part cuts, reduces welding costs, allows elimination of manufacturing steps, increased accuracy of press brake parts, closer gauge, flatness, and shape tolerances, and significant cost reduction and productivity gains. To prove the superiority of the temper pass process, Steel Warehouse conducted a memory retention test. This test was performed using a coil that was 4.4 millimeters thick, 1,524 millimeters wide, and with a yield strength of 700 megapascal. The first part of the coil was processed on a conventional leveling line in Europe. The balance of the coil was processed on an integrated temper pass and leveling line at Steel Warehouse. A sheet from each part of the coil was then laser cut into 17 strips. Observe how this temper pass sheet remains flat during cutting in both longitudinal and transverse directions. The 50 millimeter by 1000 millimeter strips were laid side by side and measured in both planes to determine the deviation from a flat surface. The conventionally leveled product shows considerable deviation from flatness. The temper pass product exhibits no coil memory and is much flatter. In fact, the edge-to-edge -edge flatness consistency is far superior to the non-temper pass product. The test was also performed with a second coil that was 8 millimeters thick, 1,524 millimeters wide, and with a yield strength of 350 megapascal. Half of the coil was conventionally leveled in Europe. The other half of the same coil was temper pass leveled by Steel Warehouse. The superiority of temper pass leveling is magnified even further as yield strength and material thickness increase. In Brazil, we're able to process coils up to 25.4 millimeters in thickness, up to 2.4 meters in width, and cut sheet to lengths up to 18 meters. With the growing applications of the use of lasers, and as the production of steel parts gets more efficient and automated, the quality of the steel being processed has to be upgraded as well. Super accurate, high speed equipment, such as modern lasers, will only perform at their peak with very tight flatness tolerances. Temper pass leveling assures the flatness tolerances that are no longer being taken for granted and are becoming required. Now, get off your ass and temper pass.